Hello everyone, I'm Hara Raban, a PhD student at Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, and the first author of the paper Daughters of Men, Saudi Women's Socio-Technical Agency Practices in Addressing Domestic Abuse. I conducted a qualitative interview study with Saudi women living in the United States and Saudi Arabia, where I examined the forms of domestic abuse personally faced by my participants or people they closely knew, and how they responded to the abuse specifically by looking at the technology practices in dealing with the abuse. I contribute to the field empirically by providing an understanding of domestic violence in a non-Western Muslim Arab context, and methodologically by providing ways to, pr to avoid othering people when we study, present, and design for non-Western contexts or populations. I provide implications for empowering from within the participant structures by designing around familiar social values. And finally, I expand the understanding of agency or the capacity of individuals to make their own choices using an Islamic feminist lens, which looks different than in Western feminism. The main difference is the focus on the historical, cultural, and political contexts as factors that shape one's choices. We did so by examining the Saudi context and Islamic perspective around abuse, and through Islamic feminism, we also consider non-resistive and faith-based acts to constitute agency rather than as a submission to the patriarchy. Our findings show that domestic violence includes family and partner violence. Prevalent forms of abuse found included economic, social, psychological, and physical where the gendered power imbalance was influenced by certain cultural norms, religious understandings, and laws. Our participants responded to the abuse by adopting three main processes. They first had to do the work to categorize certain actions as abusive by unlearning values and beliefs from their upbringing and by reflecting with others. Our participants used ICTs to aid their individual reflection and social reflection in finding resources and reaching out, where they mostly preferred private means of communication. Unlike what's usually expected in, Western, in a Western context, the most common response to the abuse was to remain in the relationship or household instead of leave while finding ways to work within their constraints and to ease the abuse and build their resilience. Several reasons were found behind staying in, in the relationship or the household, including social constraints, such as the fear of shaming, the scarcity of domestic violence related services, and the unpredictability of law enforcement when it comes to domestic violence. In managing abuse, technology helped build their skills and hobbies, enabled moral support and navigating mobility constraints, and acted as a gateway to finding flexible job opportunities and professional assistance. Finally, women chose to end the abuse by confronting the abuser through mediation, by involving a brother or at times a tribe leader, or leaving temporarily or permanently. The decision to leave was dependent on how their families were supportive of them and their willingness to take them in. Technology used here was to know their legal rights and to transfer and gain tacit knowledge like how to deal with judges or how to navigate the bureaucracies of the system, especially as a woman. In our discussion, we emphasize that design thinking is not always appropriate in tackling deep-rooted social issues. However, we identify spaces to design for the values of our women and their broader societies, such as religious piety, social cohesion, patience, and resilience. For further details, please read our full paper, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to share here or contact me by email. Thank you for listening.